knows his hat. <laughs> this is my brother from another mother. Uh, Tony Leanne Davis from Houston, Texas. They sell our wine all over Texas. At least he does. Yep, She's a did. school teacher. Does she works at the school? She works out, gets up three o'clock in the morning, learned all this stuff, and uh, they still like each other after 25 years. Yes. Great. Yes, after 25, I still put up with her. That's great. So, and you guys are here. You guys are here visiting. Clay's going to show you around the the property a little bit, talk about the operation, and we're going to kind of yes, check out the whole deal. Uh, Anderson Marsh State Park. It's the largest uh, freshwater wetlands in the state of California, on the largest lake in California and the oldest lake in North America. And uh, the white birds out there are um, um, pelicans that come here in overwinter, oh. and, and they live there, and so I don't know what that's like. But uh, this is, what used to call this a rolling knolls vineyard, and then we named it the Vigilance Vineyard. And then we're gonna, we actually, we're gonna move the name Vigilance, that goes with that wine brand, we're gonna kind of move it over and, and create its own little vineyard over there on the west side of the property. Because what we're trying to do what I didn't tell you is we're trying to create an old world experience here. Did I tell you that? No, you didn't tell me that. Well, like, if you go to Tuscany or, or I've been there once or Germany or different parts of these wine growing areas, they, you know, a big place like this would be owned by 50 people and, or maybe more, you know, and some of the German vineyards on the Moselle River, have you ever seen? You sell Riesling and mm -hmm. stuff there, but you ever been there? Mm -hmm. You ever seen some of the pictures? Yeah. And they're just steep. Yeah. They, they farm right down the to the river and all yeah. that crap. And, uh, but they have an acre or two, and then that's how it's all the, that, that's a big chunk of land, three or four or five acres spread amongst different hillsides. So, what I would try to do here after going there and, and enjoying that is I want to try and create a feeling of, you know, it's, it's a place to come, spend all day, and there's different little winery sites and different little wine brands all over here. And so, we're going to call this the district. And the Italian word, kind of thinking about this word called Lake Contrada which is the, the Italian word for district. And then within the district, we're gonna have vigilance and marema, which is the word for marsh or uh, dog, sheep dog, which I'm gonna show you a little later. And then, uh, what else? Um, uh, dos Brotos. Did you see that brand yesterday? We're gonna have some for lunch. Uh, it's a, you know, it's just another brand. We have. You haven't seen it yet. But, um, other than that, Try and chop this up, make it look like the feeling of, of a multi, you know, multi ownership, and and I want to have uh, different wine brands on it. We're going to have a, a little horse thing where people can come on and get on like a horse and carriage and, and go around here. We're going to do kayaking, and uh, working with a, we're going to work with a Sierra Club and, and uh, the Audubon Society and the State of California. Uh, we have we border this Audubon Society property. And, and there's gates and stuff down there, but we want to try and offer it to where you can come here, have a little wine, have lunch or whatever. We'll t I'll show you over there. And then if you want to walk down there, hike or bike or whatever, go down there, get on the kayak, go through the wetlands. Uh, you know, nobody has this in, in, you can't find it in Napa or Sonoma or anywhere in the North Coast. You know, a big chunk of land that, that's connected to stuff that you could go do. <laughs> so, what we're doing here with my new best friend, Leanne, uh, is uh, we were talking about when we were kids and when she was a child in Texas, in West Texas, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Grandpa's ranch, and uh, they used to go into old, an old house like this, uh, but it was the only thing that was left of it is, is the old fireplace. And then we're going to go take a look because fireplaces keep standing. This place burned down. It was built in 1931. It must have been burned down. We just figured this out because we'll look at the, the chimney in there. But and then it was redone, I think, in the 50s. Uh -huh. And then what we're going to do with it is take the ranch house and just create a ranch house, and we're going to make a little tasting room in there called Vigilance. It's going to have picnic tables out here. Um, you know what? It's it's not going to be all beautiful, glitzy. It's going to be just an old. Come and take a look at the view. So, <laughs> old chimney, 1931. Uh, what was really cool? Oh yeah, they got the date up there. Yeah. So I don't know, when this place burned down, they rebuilt it. You can see there's used timber in here. There's all kinds of different used stuff in here. And it's an old ranch house, but you know, the other day when uh, Yvonne, my son, was in here and they were tearing the ceiling down, they found a bunch of old stuff up there. Oh. A trash can that must be, God, I bet you it's 70 years old. A painted little trash can that you would have, and it's beautiful. I'll show you at the house with a little late. It's really cool, and some other little stuff. So a beer can that's you know from the 1940s or something yeah, like that. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Uh, <laughs> Oli or Hams or something. I think that's oh, really? what it was. Yeah. So anyhow, this is going to be an old ranch table here. We're going to have two doors. 
So out here, you have a deck, and uh, the, the, you know what we're. This is what we're gonna. You know, we don't want people hanging out in the house unless it's cold. Oh but, yeah, you know, let's be honest here. This is a beautiful scenery here. Yeah. This is beautiful. The winery's gonna be in here. Go ahead in there, Tony. Go in there. <laughs> Are you scared? Watch. <laughs> so we're, uh, this is gonna be uh, all well, it is. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah. So this is where the winery is going to be, and we're going to. Those are rocks that come up through the through the dirt, and we're just going to keep those there. We're going. To, this is going to be barrels, some little barrel tasting. We're going to clean all this up so it'll, it'll look cool. But you know, the outside walls is rock, I and mean, it's exactly yeah. what you're after. And uh, I think this will be fun for. It'll be real small, but it'll be if somebody wants to get a feel what what a winery smells like and what a barrel tastes like. You know, wine out of barrel. We can do barrel samples like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's what yeah, we're into. Just because of the fact that it's been here forever. You know, oh, yeah. you didn't tear it down and start over and build something new. Right. That's and, more and, attractive to me than anything. And there's still you get know, that? holes here See and that? there where farmers. That's what we're about. It's like, you know, we're not all shiny. Right. And, you know, throw kinds of, all kinds of money at a, at, a, at a fake thing. We're about real. That's what our company's about and our, our wine business. Real people, real wine. Yeah. Real fun.